What's up everybody, it's Josh at Silver Springs and, and Allison. <laughs> Are you looking for all those hard to get allocated bourbons? Well, I'm gonna give you three guaranteed ways to improve the chances of you getting allocated bourbons. Number one, expand your search. If you're in a big city or you live in an affluent area, go to smaller towns, go to rural areas, uh, try liquor stores in less affluent neighborhoods. All those places will give you a better chance to find the allocated whiskeys you're looking for. The bigger your search, the more chances you have. Number two, build rapport. When you go into the liquor store, don't walk in and say, hey, how you doing? Have you got anything in the back? If you met a girl at a bar, you wouldn't walk up and say, hey, my name's Josh, do you wanna go home with me? Your chances are very low. Build rapport, talk to them, talk about the store, talk about the town they're in, what you're doing, what whiskeys you're into, all that sort of stuff. Build some rapport with them. You have a much, much better chance of getting a chance at anything that is in the back or getting some sort of a notice whenever some allocated stuff comes in. Number three, buy something else. When you go into a store, if you just pick up the allocated bourbon that's on the shelf, like Weller, and bring it up to the shelf and you buy nothing else and you ask if there's anything in the back, the chances of them saying yes are probably slim. But if you pick up something else in the store, I don't know anybody that only drinks allocated bourbon. Your wife, your girlfriend, your mom, somebody else drinks rum, wine, something else in the store. Buy something else. When you go into a store, find one or two other things that you can pick up, grab your allocated bottle, and then ask them if there's something extra in the back. You'll have a much better chance. If you put those three things into practice, you'll have a much better chance at scoring the allocated bourbons you're after. See ya.